Good morning everyone, it's a lovely day, it's a brand new day and brand new happy new year to everyone who is just watching me, it's 2023 and I'm starting the new series of all my cards for this year. So this is my second card, the first one that we've made uh, was this one and it's from the same collections, there's two collections that I combine. There's a full series of how I used one, each collection by itself, but because now I'm down and short of the papers and tags and everything else i decided to combine two of them so this was the previous one and this is for today so this is the woodland collection it's got toppers papers and papers and the other one is this one it's got papers and papers so today paper i'm going to be using this one this is with the poppies so this is the collection that i'm going to use and also what I'm going to show you guys, this is the paper pad and this is one of the um, tags, toppers that we're going to use. It's this one. It's very pretty, really nice. This is what I'm going to do. I've already used quite a lot of them and I've combined two of the um, <clears throat> collection pads because I'm getting really, really low. I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned and I'm going to keep going. Okay, look. So what I did is all those paper parts come in 8x8 eight eight sizes. So this is one card that we're going to start. This is the second card I'm going to do. So this was this was one paper part. Uh, I think it was this way. I believe, yeah. So it was this way. Or maybe this way. The poppies go different ways. I don't remember which one, but yeah. It was half and half and there's a piece missing in the between so I think I've chopped it from the middle somewhere but this was 8 by 8 and I cut it in half and I also cut it a little bit smaller than half it's only because I wanted to fit and have a tiny little frame on this card so the card is 8 by 4 a little bit less than 4 and then I've got this left over that it's going to go inside one of my cards so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make two cards. Hope you're going to enjoy it. There's two different tags. Toppers. They call them toppers. Me and my vocabulary today. New year and I'm still struggling. But anyway, so let's get going. This is half of the paper and I need to stick it down. I'm going to use a glue. I love my little glue saves a lot of money and also sticks really well if you think that it's not enough i'm telling you guys it's perfectly enough and i love those little bottles they are pretty easy for tiny details if you want to stick something okay so now this will go onto my card and now I want to make sure which way I want it to go. The poppies are both ways. So there's a tiny little inch. I know this card is a little bit bigger. I'm showing you all the mistakes. Maybe not mistakes. I wouldn't call them mistakes. All the things that you can adjust. Because you're the crafter. You decide how you want your card to look like. And you want exactly how you want it so if this is too big all you gotta do is trim it yeah you take your trimmer i love my trimmer this is a very good trimmer it's about 15 years old and i love it oh don't throw away these ones i'll show you in a different video this year how i use my box of scraps i've got lots of them now for the the for the decorations, I'm going to use this, and I've got my 3D tape that I love to use, and I would like to pop it. So I want my decoration to be, not to be flat. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like it flat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
last one okay and this is it this is my tape i love my tape okay now what i was thinking i've got this lovely paper it's very very pretty this is the way i need to do it so i was thinking either to put the lines across or put one line this way and to have it the other way but i think i can do the other way i'll put this one on the side so let's do this way let's do this one i'm going to use my grid line to establish one two three four five let's put it on five two three four five and now i'm going to stick my tape one two three four five and put it on the other side and trim okay and now another one one more higher if you don't have this tape this is my tape my friend gave me some time ago and if you don't have any similar tape just use your scraps red scraps um, if you want um, silver gold whatever you decide it's your imagination it's your card guys so you decide what you want to put on your card this is a very thin tape like look keep using this for all my christmas cards and everything else and it's still there if i find it i'll link it down below so you can you can buy it okay now i've got three of my lines and we can take the backing off Mm -hmm. Ooh, hoo, hoo. where are you going I'm going to take the backing off okay and I'll stick my decoration just be careful where you stick it okay, okay. <clears throat> now this is how the card looks like looks nice i like this red everything is glittery i found i decided that this is going to be a thank you card so i found this one in my stash it's um it's a thank you with some roses and a lot of thank yous and everything else i like the idea how they put thank yous all around it so one of the cards definitely that that gives me an idea i'm going to use either a stamp or something else and i'm going to show you how to create this effect and also decorate your card but this is going to be for the next time now i want to thank you over here this is a very small one so what i do is just i measure so i want it from the beginning or from the top so i'm going to start from the bottom from the back actually and i'm going to put it all the way over here and then thank you this is all connected so i don't have to worry about single letters or anything like that and then this one goes all the way over here that's it and this is the card for today you like it it's so pretty i love it now let's get going let's do the the other one so now this is the set this is the first one this is the second one we're going to exactly the same uh, pattern so we are going to i am going to assemble this panel onto the front and i only have one leftover scrap so i'm going to decide in which card i'm going to put the scrap paper inside and then the other will have to be decorated with some red or this sparkly tape mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's enough. I love it. Okay, so now what you gotta do, check which side you want your poppies because those poppies goes up and down. So they're not, they're not in the same direction. As you can see, this one goes up and this one goes down. So you have to choose 
which is best option for your card. My one would be this way because this is the main focal point. On this one, you can see they go down, but there's one up. Okay, so this one goes okay. Now, to show you the difference, because this is the same, the poppies go this way, so I can't use it that way. I need to use it again. So there's another option. I can either go the same way, so do three lines and put thank you on the top, or I can do one line over here and then thank you on the side as well. So it all depends. I don't like things on the top because they look big or maybe on the top. Actually, it's not a bad idea. Where's my red tape? This is kind of cool. Let's do it on the top then. Hmm. Why not? I like changing as I go along. Now the card is too big, so I'm going to trim it. Perfect. Okay. Now this is going to go all the way to the top. I'm going to use my grid lines again. And I'm going to put one line over here. This is the top. So the line should go one, two, three, four, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five lines, yeah? One, two, four, five lines, yeah? Over here somewhere. Perfect. This way. And then all you gotta do is measure at the bottom so you know exactly where you're going. One, two, three, four. Ta -da! I don't want any more, I just would like one line. That would be perfect for me if I have only one line. All right. And now this is going to go all the way to the top. Again, I'm going to pop it with my tape because I like my tape. Mm -hmm. You don't have to put as much as tape as I do. Um, this tape is nice and soft, so I know that if I'm going to post it and it goes to the poise, post, um, the sides, if I only put on the sides, it's going to collapse, the middle will collapse. Therefore, I'm putting more everywhere else. Okay. Now take the backing off. Okay. Now this is where, this is the first card, this is the second. So now this is where I would like to put it all the way over here. Mm -hmm. It's going to ground the picture so you know it's not floating anywhere. It's just pretty. And again, I'm going to use my thank you because those two are going to be together. And I believe this thank you can go at the bottom. And I'm starting from the front. Mm -hmm. There you go. And now I can either do this thank you or a thank you. I believe I would like this way. And all you do is stick. Now, the last bit is to put this panel inside. I would like to do it over here. It's only because it's got a line already. So it's going to follow the whole pattern as it is a little bit. I love this glue. And I love this glue. It's really cool glue. And now you just stick it on the side to decorate the inside. Here you go. And that's two finished cards for today. These are the cards that I've made it made using the um, uh, this pattern paper. <coughs> and you can see two toppers, two the same papers, but you've got two different outcomes. Uh, also, you can tr trim it for a smaller if you want smaller, but this is not what I wanted. I love this paper, and I didn't want to cover up this paper. 
look at the shine that's beautiful i hope you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up uh, i'm always happy if you enjoy my videos and i would like to post more if you're interested uh, click the subscribe button so you can see more of my stuff and i hope to see you soon thanks for watching guys stay tuned for the next video bye